If you could Just, talk to yourself, and yo, if I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I would end up crying. I stock at Jordans. So, oh, nah. I mean, I would. I, the things that, the confessions that I would make about myself, the future self about the just i would literally just tell them exactly what i did and and how i'm affected now mm. um you know be i think i would really focus on being more family oriented oriented when i was younger um I mean, I was always around my family when I was a kid, but as I grew older, I wanted my own. I kind of stepped out into my own and I've had that feeling of not needing anybody. I'm going to try to do this on my own and taking routes that I really wouldn't have taken if I had to kind of just listen to some of the people who actually told me the things that I needed to know and not being the person who thinks he knows it all. And I see that in my kids now, my oldest, when I try to talk to her and, and uh, it's hard for you to tell somebody who you see yourself in that you've done it and and try to steer them the right direction. And you know that they want to do it on their own. And she's only 13. You know what I mean? And I see myself because that was me. And I know the hardships that come with that now and explaining that and not knowing my my background and not having the relationship with my mom or my mom's side of the family and me being closer to you two than you know some of the actual blood brothers that i have it's it's it leaves you in a space where it's kind of like you're just lost in a sense because there's people that you love but it's like how well do you know them you know what i mean and hmm. I only know what I'm used to and what I see in front of me and what I deal on a daily basis. I seclude myself a lot and I focus on just me being with my family and what's what's in my household. And um, I can honestly say a lot of times I, I was just overly selfish. It took me a long time to not be selfish, even as an even as an adult, even when I had kids, when I first had kids, you know what I mean? It took me a while to just understand what it is to be a partner. The the things that I would tell myself, I would just try to alleviate a lot of the trials that I went through. And maybe, and it's funny because me and my sister Day had a conversation the other day. And I was just telling her about some shit that's going on with me. And she's telling me some shit that's going on with her. And I sat back and I asked a question and it kind of pertained to what, you were saying and it, and it kind of hit home it's like yo if you had the opportunity to be if if there was a point in life everybody comes to a certain point in life where some being or some superpower comes to see you and they give you the opportunity to push a button and it's like a reset and you get you get to start back from a certain age and it's like you woke up from a dream and you get to see everything just kind of like click if you've ever seen the movie click Mm -hmm. Do you get, do you take that chance knowing that all that you have now, the kids that you Ooh. love, the people that you know, Shit. you know, do you take that chance. And as much as it hurted me to say, I probably would. And I love my kids. I die for them. My kids, you know what I'm saying? There's people in my life that I would literally let myself go for. And all of that could change with that one push of a button. 